What is going on everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Modern Classic Giveaway. We're featuring the Honda Rebel 1100 and today we're going to make it loud by putting a new exhaust on it. We're very excited to hear how it's going to sound. We're also going to be putting a bar end mirror on this motorcycle, cleaning it up and kind of giving it that cruiser aesthetic, right Spite? You're the cruiser boys that we're doing today. Yeah, it's about time we get these ugly mirrors off of here and they actually are kind of annoying because there's no room between the handlebar and the mirrors. So be nice to have just the nice one bar and mirror here and obviously to hear the bike without that one modification that you made that I immediately unmade. Let's see if it's any louder or quieter than just running it literally no muffler. <laughs> Alrighty guys, the first thing we're doing to this bike today is installing this awesome Vance and Hines pipe over here. Now, just want to point out, Vance and Hines did not sponsor this video. I actually bought this off of our Tucker site on YNMoto.co, but this pipe was back ordered for what, like three months? Yeah, so basically as soon as the Rebel came out, everybody was scrambling to make a pipe. Vance and Hines made this one, it was one of the first to hit the market and everybody bought it up, the full system and the slip-on. Yeah. This is just a slip-on today because all of the catalyzing is done inside the muffler. So mm -hmm. there's not really a point in spending a bunch of money on some extra pipes. Uh, you're not gonna really reduce that much weight on it. This is going to be the biggest form of weight savings. It's just a really good pipe. I heard it on a bike at Get On Moto Fest a couple months back and I've been dying to get it on the Rebel because unlike running no exhaust, we actually are gonna have some back pressure with this thing and the bike's gonna run a lot better. You just went right into the top end. That's where you get all the power. <laughs> And we've also got this actual real CRG mirror over here. You'll see a lot of these copycats mm -hmm. on Amazon, but this is the actual real deal. And I know you're a big proponent of getting the real deal bar ends, and why is that? Because A, CRG uses rubber gaskets around the inside of the mirror to keep the vibrations down. Super important on a bar end mirror, especially one that's on a parallel twin, a single, so on and so forth. Uh, but I also really like these mirrors because they're made out of really quality stuff and they have replaceable lenses. So if you accidentally crack one, uh, you can just get a new lens. It's like 10 bucks. So that's why I use the fancy ones. It does cost a little bit more up front. I mean, I paid like $270 for my set on my bike and this so one much for mirrors. <laughs> this is a lot for mirrors that's some ducati price that right is some there. ducati pricing yeah no doubt but i think my ducati oem mirrors were less than that <laughs> which is really saying something <laughs> so uh yeah hope they're cool in the rebel but let's get to installing it when you're working, you might as well select the right tool for the job, even if the right tool is uh, incredibly oversized. Sometimes it feels fun to use a giant tool to uh, unbolt a mirror. guys, so you might be a little curious as to why putting on a bar and mirror necessitated me pulling out the Dremel again. Uh, there actually is a good reason. So the Rebel 1100 here features very sturdy bar weights that are sitting inside and I did some research and they're actually big long cores that go about that far into the handlebar. Um, rather than trying to get this piece out of here, which is going to be a nightmare, I decided to just take because the screw that came with our kit was the exact same pitch and uh, depth as this, to just take the weight off uh, that's on the end, which really isn't much of a weight, and then use my Dremel to Dremel down the uh, adapter, which is actually chucked in the vise, so that it fits in here. It's just gonna sit flush. You won't notice uh, as a rider any difference here, and it's going to hold the bar exactly where we want it to be. So I'm gonna go Dremel down, uh, file down a bunch of the stuff in here so it sits flush, and then we'll be good to go. Alrighty guys, after some huffing and puffing, we got both of these very simple modifications done on the Rebel. Both uh, involved a couple 
uh, tricky bits. Spite had to bust out the Dremel, bust out the file as he showed you guys to make the uh, mirror fit on the bike. But I think we've got a pretty cool look happening on this thing, right Spite? Yeah, I mean, taking off the mirrors is one of the quickest ways to undorkify a motorcycle. Um, and we got this pretty cool lane splitter, which uh, just folds right in like that, which is nice. And then that pipe looks pretty sick, man. Yeah, pipe looks awesome. But now we have to hear how it sounds and go take it out for a ride. Alrighty folks, here we are with the Rebel 1100 with Vance and Hines system, looking snazzy as ever. And uh, we're going to flip the switch here, turn it on so you guys can hear it as well, of course. It's got a really nice grumble to it. What do you think, Spite? I always like Vance and Hines' attention to detail because if you look, the matte black is basically a perfect match. For the headers yeah um that can be a big issue especially in cruisers where everything's blacked out if the exhaust has the wrong black than the rest of the bike for it'll sure it'll look funny but they actually it's basically a dead ringer so and what's cool is it all it almost looks stock you know it doesn't sound stock but it looks just so stealth and fits the the vibe of the bike you know yeah i agree and it sounds pretty zesty yeah i love that growl see how it sounds when we're actually rolling. Although we're probably going to hear how it sounds because it's difficult to see sound. It's not a spectrum <laughs> that humans can perceive on, uh, on our eyeballs. But you know what, you know what, whatever. <laughs> we were talking about it on the way up here, but the uh, Rebel 1100 has such a great kind of attitude about it, you know? Yeah, I was really worried when the Rebel first launched that it was going to be a little bit soft and a little bit muted and not have much character to it. But it's a really characterful motorcycle. I think Honda did a good job not watering down the motorcycle too much. Yeah, it uh, it feels like a proper you know sport cruiser bike, which is exactly what they were going for. Um, this is this is the metric cruiser to get now, in my opinion. I don't know why you'd bother with anything else. And you know, rolling behind you, looking at that exhaust, it looks exactly like it's meant to be there. You know. It doesn't look funny. It looks, it looks basically like a fancy stock pipe. Yeah, you get some crackle and pop out of it too, which is always appreciated. And for what it's worth, you know, the video obviously is not sponsored by Vance and Hines. We bought the, the pipe with our own hard-earned Yami New bucks. But uh, I, well, this thing was what, 300, 400 bucks or something? Yep, it was uh, it was not expensive for what it was, and uh, I was again I've put uh, Vance and Hines pipes on like five bikes now, four, four four bikes, not including this one. And this is what I like about this pipe too. We're rolling along here, fourth gear, cruising as I'm meant to do on this motorcycle, and I don't feel a crazy drone. I don't feel a crazy like I'm I'm waking up the neighbors and I'm making everybody upset at me. It's it's relatively polite which is good yeah i have to be close to you to really hear it it doesn't come through the cardo like on the zh2 where you get on the gas and it's just in, i hear everything yeah that was a bike you could hear like three or four corners away from you you know like it was like a mile <laughs> down the road you're like uh yep there it goes <laughs> whereas this thing just yeah really mellow cool sound i'm interested to see what you think of it uh because you have the most experience with the rebel i think in the shop as I told you, as we were riding up here, I, I've not ridden this thing in quite some time, so I actually didn't remember what it sounded like bone stock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from, from where I'm sitting, it sounds very similar to the RS660. You know, it's got that same kind of aggressive growl. Um, it's a little bit bassier, obviously, because it's a bigger engine. Uh, so it's, you know, it's a little deeper, but that's what you want out of a cruiser. You want a nice, deep, low grumble. But the most important modification, obviously, the mirror. I mean, yeah, got to do the bar end mirror. How are you liking that? 
Uh, you know, for me, I think I would. Uh, I think I'd prefer the the wheelie mirror right here, right next to the uh, <laughs> the clutch perch, because I actually have a, a bit of a hard time seeing out of it. But um, I think if I adjusted it, maybe if I flipped it up and pointed it that way, I could probably see it a little bit better. But um, you know, I love how uh, convex it is. It's a really wide angle mirror, so you can see it really well, and it doesn't shake nearly as much as you would imagine on any uh, like a bar end mirror. You know, you'd imagine they shake a lot, but the CRG does a great job. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel cooler. You know, I don't have my mirrors on. Yeah, the, I mean that thing was real dorky with those big round mirrors sticking up off the top. Um, it, it definitely looks just as I'm sitting next to you. Uh, it, it looks a lot cooler. And as we know, if you're on a cruiser, you gotta look cool. You can't be looking dorky on your cruiser. Oh God, no. Obviously. We did do it the hipster way, though. We only have the one mirror on there, so. Uh, we did it the unga bunga way because we filed it down to make it fit, but... <laughs> hey, that's just... It, it happens when it enters the Yammy Noob shop. It just... Yeah. It, it Something's going to get trembled, trembled and filed. <laughs> Every install is like that. All right, guys. So before Mr. Spite takes off with the uh, Rebel, we're going to drop a couple clips in the video, maybe a couple minutes or two of the uh, raw exhaust sounds. You guys let us know what you think in the comments down below, and we're about to get his first impressions on the exhaust. Let's do it. <laughs> that is the right sound for this bike to make. It's nice, right? Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, and it's really cool because when you're on it, you can hear it a ton. But then, yeah, like like you said, I'm behind you here. You're not droning behind me. It's not some crazy sound, you know? It, it feels like just a good cruiser exhaust. You know, we still retain the cat. I, th I think there's a resonator, not a cat, uh, in the mid-pipe. So yeah. there is some good back pressure going on. Uh, I don't feel like it needs a tune. I mean, the, the roll-on on this motorcycle is always a tad herky-jerky, so it's still a bit herky-jerky. Um, maybe a tune would help smooth that out a little bit, but, you know, it feels fine to me, honestly. Yeah, I, I think it's perfectly usable, but yeah, it's not buttery smooth on-off throttle. Maybe we can, uh, maybe we can just map the Fireblades throttle onto the uh, Rebel. <laughs> that would be nice. I will say though, having lived with this motorcycle, the exhaust is nice, but not having the mirrors in the way is a huge improvement. Yeah. Now let me ask you this, as a as a quote unquote Harley guy, as we've kind of t t turned you into on the channel, you're a Harley source. <laughs> You've owned a few Harleys in the past. You obviously like the American brand. When you're on the Rebel 1100 with this exhaust now, do you feel like it's an acceptable substitute or competitor to those riding experiences of an American V-Twin? Well, uh, it's tough, you know, because there is no getting past the fact you got the wing on the tank. Um, there is something about the bar and shield that uh, has more curb appeal. However, as a riding experience, this is so much more engaging and so much more um, exhilarating. Yeah, you don't get the top end clatter that you do from the Evo valve train. You don't get, you know, that kind of potato, potato, potato idle. Um, but this is, you know, I, I'm starting to get to the point where I feel like Harleys aren't really meant for in, in a way, they're meant for the rider, but they're also meant as a status symbol sort of deal. Um, yeah, totally. And they're meant to they're meant to really uh, they're meant to sit and look pretty. Yeah. And then when you ride them, they're a little bit compromised, so you just want to you know go slow and and cruise. But if you want to go have fun on a motorcycle that you could also cruise on, and you don't want to spend a ton of money, the Rebel's the way to go. You know. Yeah. You get you get 90% of what makes the Sportster the Sportster. And uh, you know, the engine doesn't have that perfect matched sound, but I don't know, man. If I was going to get a Sportster right now, 
and I didn't want to modify it to the nines, I'd probably get the Rebel because it's just done, you know? Yeah, from what I can tell, you could just go out, buy it on a dealership floor, slap a Vance and Hines on it, and it's, it's a pretty sweet cruiser experience, you know? Yeah, and yeah, it doesn't have the crazy aftermarket that the Sporty does, but it'll get there. <laughs> That's because it's a better bike. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it also hasn't been out for 35 years. So. Correct, yeah. But, ah, man, I really like not having mirrors on my handlebars. It's it's one of those things that you don't think about until you think about it. And then, uh, you know, it just feels so much cooler. Yeah. Well, guys, we hope you've enjoyed this uh, Rebel 1100 exhaust install. Remember, it's a giveaway motorcycle. Not sure if we mentioned that in the beginning, but uh, get yourself signed up to win it. Hit the links down below. Get entered to win it. It's a pretty sweet little rad. We'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Now, how you doing, partner? This video is over, but you click on this one right over here. You keep watching yourself some yammy new. Maybe I bend my boots on this one. Maybe I give you some other funny memes or something like that. You might not know if you watch the video. So watch the video now, all right?